As more states move to restrict non-essential business or institute shelter-in-place orders, Governor Chris Sununu says he does not anticipate New Hampshire following suit right now. He believes the measures being taken here from social distancing to schools closing and the restrictions on restaurants and public gatherings are appropriate for the state's known level of COVID-19 spread. And he says shelter in place is not imminent for New Hampshire. These are all incredibly big decisions uh, and people are, are really abiding by them and that's allowing flexibility at the top level to not make such drastic action. So we are absolutely not there today um, and we, look we always need to plan for the worst but by no means are, are we in that position today and we, we hope to never have to be. Sununu acknowledges this is a fluid situation and things could change but says the ultimate goal is to avoid overwhelming hospitals. We're bending the curve. We talk about that a lot. You don't get a run on the healthcare system. And over time, that'll give us a chance to bring in more pharmaceuticals or drugs that can help mitigate the symptoms. New Hampshire, like all of the other states in the union, is having a difficult time putting together an effective testing regime for COVID-19. Governor Sununu says one of the most difficult aspects of deciding if and when to institute something like a shelter in place order for Granite Staters would be knowing when it is safe to lift such an order. Once you take an action of last resort, how do you undo it? When do you undo it? It gets very difficult. I, I got to tell you, I don't um, blame any governor for taking certain actions, but in, in the sense of California, when do you undo that? This is not going away in three weeks, unfortunately. This is not going away in, in even a couple months, right? So hopefully we'll be able to manage it better because we're changing our models, but um, the numbers are going to keep rising uh, in, the, in the near future. We know that. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.